I was in eighth grade when I learned to program. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. You just learn these lessons and there aren't that many of them and you, you just eventually can get to the point where you can do almost anything that you want. Computer science is just learning how t a computer works and how it thinks so that you can teach it to do new things. These days what you can do uh, in computer science is pretty much amazing. I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. In the next hour, we're going to play a game that will teach you the basic concepts of programming. Usually programming is all in text, but we'll use Blockly, which uses visual blocks that you drag and drop to write programs. Under the hood, you're still creating code. To start off, we're going to build code for a program that will help this angry bird move through a maze to get to the evil pigs that stole its eggs. Blockly is split into three main parts. On the left is the bird's maze, where your program will run. The instructions for each level are written below the maze. This middle area is the toolbox, and each of these blocks is a command that the bird can understand. The white space on the right is called the workspace, and this is where we'll build our program. If I drag the move block to our workspace and press run, what happens? The bird moves forward one box on the grid. And what if I want the bird to do something after the move forward on one box? I can add another block to our program. I'm going to choose the turn right block, and I'll drag it underneath my move block until the yellow arrow appears, and then I'll drop it and the two blocks will snap together. When I press run again, the bird will perform the commands that are stacked from top to bottom on our workspace. If you ever want to delete a block, just remove it from the stack and drag it to the trash can. After you've hit run, you can always hit the reset button to get the bird back to the start. Now let's get those pigs. So it says, move, use the move four blocks to help me get the pig. Over here we have the run section. This is where you push run, the yellow button, and it moves the bird forward. And this is the block area where you move your blocks to the actions. So there's how many jumps do we need? One, two. Okay, so there's one block there already. We'll snap another move forward block in. Push run. And we got the pig. Congratulations, you just wrote two lines of code. Waiting for the load. This pig is really ruffling my feathers. Help me to find him. Okay, let's count how many jumps we need this time. One, two, three. So there's one move forward block already there. We need two more. One, two, three. Run. Yes, we got the pig.